dun, dun, dun. Ah, yes. Dr. Pepper, vanilla float. <sighs> Boy. <sighs> With Coke Vanilla being my second favorite soft drink of all time. By the way, um, when I showed this can last episode as well, we can't get the cans in Australia. I had to import the can. We only get the bottles. But, um, yes. This. When I did the Dr. Pepper episode, first season, I didn't really like it. When I did the Dr. Pepper Cherry recently, I really didn't like it at all. But if this one sucks, then that's a bit personal because vanilla sodas, you can't fuck up vanilla sodas. I don't have my taster glass with me, unfortunately. It just tastes like cherry Dr. Pepper. What the fuck? <laughs> this, is ch this is cherry Dr. Pepper all over again. Okay, I'm not gonna drink anything that's put in this glass because I had like milk stuff in it before. Uh, that just looks like Dr. Pepper. Strongest smell. Well, you can hear it crackling. I'm sorry for that. It definitely... It smells like Dr. Pepper Cherry. But then again, Dr. Pepper smells like Dr. Pepper Cherry. These all smell like Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper, Dr. Pepper. I say his name too much. Okay, um... Um, that's actually not bad. <laughs> oh, I take that back. There is a really shit aftertaste. All these Dr. Peppers have a really shit aftertaste. Um, the, as you're drinking it, as it hits you, it's got an okay taste. It's plenty carbonated and everything. The aftertaste hits you. Vanilla Coke doesn't have the aftertaste that hits you, and it's a better sort of taste of vanilla. This one is a more... Like, Vanilla Coke sort of has its own vanilla... Or what, like, it has its own vanilla way of doing things. These taste like you actually put vanilla into something. You know, it has that taste. Um... It's not bad. <laughs> Out of the three Dr. Peppers... This is the best, which isn't saying a lot, because I would never drink the other two again, but uh, this is not bad, actually. Um, yeah, weird. This isn't bad. It's definitely not the, it's definitely not the worst vanilla drink I've had, and if I can find a can of that, because I want to redo that episode. This is an old episode on the old season. Um, I want to give it another episode because it was so bad. It's another vanilla-based soda. Um, so as far as vanilla-based sodas go, you've got um, you've got episode ten, Dr Pepper, and up here past the camera mark here, you've got uh, Coke, vanilla, Coca-Cola vanilla. There's a huge gap between them, but like if this is really spit it out gag bad, and this is adequate. This is where episode 10's drink will be, and this is where Dr. Pepper Vanilla is. Vanilla Float. It's surprisingly... It's got a stronger vanilla taste than Vanilla Coke, and I'm gonna be, you know, comparing it to Vanilla Coke this entire episode. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's interesting how... It doesn't actually... It, it can still... It still tastes like Dr. Pepper a bit. But not as much. It doesn't hit you hard like it's got some sort of medicine. I'm not getting the medicine off the taste here. If I drank this and then drank Dr. Pepper Cherry in the other order, I would say, what the fuck, they just tip medicine into Dr. Pepper. And then I tried regular Dr. Pepper and it still tastes like medicine. But this doesn't have that. It actually tastes like it's supposed to be soda, you know? 
or a soft drink. Um, I mean, besides the stepping on Australian culture. But, mm, I could finish this. It's not bad. This is the episode of Not Bad. <laughs> I mean, that's sort of the uh, Pepsi Blue episode all over again. Um, I would give this a recommend to try once. Uh, what's the expiration? March 23rd, 2015. Hmm. That's like a week away from my 20th birthday when this expires. Isn't that a fact? But, um... I mean, if you can still get this, I'd recommend it. Uh, if you don't like Dr. Pepper because it tastes a bit medicine-y and a bit bleh, I'd recommend trying this stuff. If you're a fan of Dr. Pepper, well, anything with the Dr. Pepper label slapped onto it you'll probably like, so get it anyway. I'd recommend it. Personally, I still prefer myself vanilla coke, obviously, or um, Mexican cola here. Mmm. Wow, fuck. <laughs> yeah, this sort of compels to it. This sort of pales in comparison to it, if I can stop adding all my words into one big mush of a sentence. <laughs> uh, but yeah. I can't believe I'm recommending a Dr. Pepper drink. Is there any other Dr. Peppers, by the way, apart from normal Dr. Pepper and Dr. Pepper Cherry? Let me know and I'll try and find it. Also, let me know if there's anything you want me to try on the show. I've already gotten a couple of suggestions, and I swear I'm looking for those. It's really hard for me to find them because if I don't have them in any shops around me, and if I can't find them on eBay Australia, which means it can get sent to Australia, I have a hard time uh, getting, getting items. It's harder for me to get them here. Unless, you know, someone... Post them if I buy them on eBay and someone posts them over, or if they're in a shop, an import shop like I got this and Mexican Coke from, and the Pepsi Blue from, all from the same shop by the way. Really great shop. <laughs> They've got a couple more drinks I want to try on the show, but after that they're gonna need to get some new stock. Dr Pepper Cherry was from a uh, just a milk bar down the road actually. They started getting a few, uh, <laughs> a few American drinks like um, Coke Cherry. Grape Fanta, which I've already had before on the show, and it was actually good, so there's no point in me doing another episode on that. And you know, the Dr. Pepper and the Dr. Pepper Cherry, which I don't think we're selling. They also had um, Pineapple Fanta at one point, which I really wanted to try again. If I can get a hold of Pineapple Fanta again, I want to try that on the show, because I had a very interesting reaction to that, which I think I actually still have a small, small clip of it in an intro video somewhere, so, you know. But uh, yeah, that was Dr. Pepper Vanilla. I would quite happily finish that. And I will see you guys for episode 6, where I promise this time, we're Japanese drink. I'm not promising that I'll hate it. I'm promising that I'll do it. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. This has been the Glitch 64 Raids, and catch you next time. Later.